Okay, I guess I'm not going to show you a picture of my face as I give you this update. So um, here we are, sitting in the monster, and you get to see the carnage that is uh, evident now while I've been trying to figure out what my problem is with this car. Um, relay board hanging there, uh, ECU hanging there. Um, if you can hear this, we're going to go ahead and trigger the key. That would be the pump priming. It does it every single time. Um, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. Right now, we're going to go ahead and turn the key. And we're going to show you some other cool stuff. Uh, see my two buttons. Uh, it's the pump that recirculates the water through to the intercooler and the heat exchangers. And the fan that becomes a heligil. So, um, that said... We're going to go out and observulate uh, some of the cooler points about what I've been able to discover. Um, if we can see this, uh, where the, there it is, Hungry Gila Gill. Uh, whoop, oh no. So I guess I don't ever have, want to be near any cats um, so that I don't suck up any small animals. Um, but uh, looks like we got adequate airflow in. Um, I have now plumbed my little intercooler space here so that uh, my water reservoir is now actively churning and boiling and bubbling. So all of that cool stuff is now behind me. Okay, and uh, now we're back in. Uh, Tuner Studio is open. I'm going to power up the car. And uh, we are going to hope that we get a connection here. There we go. Here it goes. All kinds of Bluetooth stuff happening right here, right now. We are going to open up a data log. Let's if I can ever find the fucking... Where's the fucking mouse? I guess we're, we're rolling again, maybe. Um, anyway, we're going to open up a data log, and we are going to start a composite logger, and I guess we're, that's how we do a, that kind of a data log, and maybe we try to start the car. <laughs> here and uh, warm up enrichment is what I want. I'm going to let it auto tune the warm up enrichment. Hopefully I'm doing all that crap right. Um, so we are running and um, approximately if you guys are marked the start see how long it goes before it shuts off. Okay. Um, looks like it's uh, hovering around a 14 to 1 AFR. 18 inches of vacuum. The sender that I put in there is just wrong. That is not going to work because there's no freaking way I have 99 pounds of oil pressure at a cold startup. Right now, 99 degrees, so we're going to see if it does actually drop down as the engine gets warm. Anyway, you guys are along for the ride, noisy as it may be. other side of the car.
cool things about having Bluetooth. I don't have to keep that computer in the car. So, I figure we'll put it in here in my SES toolbox. And, uh, focus. Focus. iPad sucks ass. Anyway, AFR's gotten fatter as the car is getting warmer. Um, now it's up around. No, actually, it's getting leaner. Sorry, stupid me. It's around 15 and a half to 1 to 16 to 1. Um, and we still got a surge thing going on, but we're trying to talk our way through about four minutes. So we're going to see what happens when the engine gets warm enough for, uh, can you see this? Come on, you piece of shit. Oh, God. It just ain't gonna focus, because it sucks. Um, we're at 142 degrees. Uh, the uh, fast idle solenoid should have kicked off by now, but it doesn't appear that it did. Down in there. All right, it just did. Fast idle solenoid just kicked down. Tax still says I'm idling at 1100 RPM. find out whether this is an engine heat related problem or a uh, something else. I still have 99 pounds of oil pressure so clearly uh, the oil pressure, oil pressure sending unit that I purchased that I've now installed is going to be one more stinking $20 thing that I have to get to buy over again. actual AFR when I look in the window says it's about 13.5, 13.7. When I come to my blurry that you can't see out of focus, yeah, it says the same thing. It appears to be uh, making its corrections on my warm-up enrichment. It's still surging though. But the good thing is, it's still running so far. So, last time I think I got it up to 165, 169 degrees and it shut off. So, I don't know whether it's a heat thing or whether it's a time thing or whatever, but as you can see, we're at 166. Fan comes on at like 190, I think. So, uh, it's marching up there, so. Here to tell you this is one noisy son of a bitch, but it is cool. If I can just get it to stop leaking, I think I have. I'll uh, crawl underneath there here. You don't see a puddle. That's where the old sender was. That's where it typically drips. Up oh, there it went. My first drip. So guess what? I still got a fucking oil leak. So, uh, clearly not fixed. One ninety one fan should be coming on. Not there yet. Let's 
see what the actual ECU thinks the temperature is. It says it's 182 right now, so the ECU doesn't, uh, looks like it's about 10 degrees different than the actual car's gauge. Perfect 10, 10 degree discrepancy. So we got uh, four and a half degrees before the fan should come on, now less than four degrees. A few sorry thing. Uh, two more degrees. 188, 189. And uh, we should have a fan. We got fans. Alrighty. So it's all the way up to operating temperature now. According to this, the video's been 8 minutes and 59 seconds and the stupid piece of crap hasn't shut off yet. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I got a bad pump. And the wires or the connections or some junk like that just stopped working. So, um, fan's doing his job. You can't see it, but my coolant temperature is back down to 183. And, uh, we're going to shut this thing off. 